That fish is chunky. Goodness. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Texas. Finally getting some cold fronts coming in here. But uh, welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Sorry about my rants about the weather. It is just so beautiful today, that is for sure. I'm getting ready to go do some fishing, but I thought that I would release a video for you guys just about some fishing. So uh, about two weeks ago, I was filming an LTB video out on my buddy's, uh, my buddy's property. And I'm here, uh, this bit has a lot of cool features that really, really excel in cold water. You know, all this cold water we got around here, I need to cover that reflection. That is nasty. And after that video, I finished pretty early, so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go out there, just catch some fish for you guys, just show you guys some fun fish catching material, and something crazy ends up happening. So make sure you guys stay till the end of the video to see what happens, and then you'll see me back here to recap my day. Come on, big girls. Where are you hanging? Oh, whoa. What the junk? There's big ones back here, man. I'm telling you. How big? Uh, four. Whoa! There we go. Get him. Nice. That's a beautiful fish, dude. I'll come take a picture. Nice. I don't think it's big. Nope. All right, I'm gonna try to release him. Ah! Really gave it my all. Nope, stick. Got him. I think it's slightly better or he just has it hooked weird in his mouth. No, I don't think so. Nope. Oof. Kinda rolling the rolling the end zone there. Little guy on the crankbait. This is the uh, the sixth sense movement, I believe. Could be wrong. A lot of bad little guy. I'm trying to run into the bigger ones though. Russ caught himself a three and a half. And I was filming the LTB video, so <laughs> that was almost that was almost real bad. Hopefully the intro explained it a little bit, but we're just out here on the lake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ooh, we're on the lake. <laughs> Throwing reaction baits for these early fall bass. Ooh, all right. That was that was wild. Can't imagine what a six-pounder would feel like doing that. They're liking the whole hit at the boat thing. Yeah, they're really like firing into the uh-huh. Got him. Oh, dang it. Feisty. Feisty little guy. Took me into the brush and said bye. I'm just catching a whole bunch of small ones today. Probably just gotta weave through the small ones to get the the lunkers. The dad gum trench donkeys. Got him. Nope. <laughs> Welcome to TRF where you catch very, very cookie cutter sized bass. There's big ones in here. I know it. It's possible that I'm not throwing the right presentation because I don't know how many shad are in this lake. And I'm throwing a shad bait. I think they're just eating it because it's flashy and it gets a reaction, but cool. Oh, I think that's a bigger one. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not a bigger one. Folks, this is going to be a lesson on how to catch many fish, but no fish of any size. I'm just lying. I'll catch a big one eventually. All right, let's make a little move to a better location. We've got a nice deeper bluff here. Maybe that's where all the lunkers are sitting from their hot days. So the gear that I'm throwing for these square bill, get another one. Goodness gracious. I don't want that one anyways. The gear that I'm throwing is uh, it's a Luz BB1 Pro speed spool. It can be used for many things, but I found it is the best crankbait reel on the market. Another fish just bit it. Oh, no, it was grass, sorry. And then I have these Luz custom speed 67 foot medium. It's a square bill rod. And I, it, it's probably my favorite rod that Luz makes. At least at this time in my life when I love crankbaits. So, as always guys, the gear that I use is linked in the description. So you guys can go take advantage of yourself and catch some... I mean, I would say giant bass. I wish I could back that up right now with some giant bass. Unless this is a giant. Nope, that's it's not, in fact. Let's see if he shakes himself off. Oh my goodness! Dude! Dude! 
a, Did a bass just swallow a bass? A nine pounder just chased this thing. Really? He was literally here at the shore, like at, at my boat. You said that, I thought like a bass swallowed a bass, your reaction. I'm gonna see if he eats my fish. Holy cow, that thing was big. I think you'll gain 10,000 subscribers with Dude, I hope I could see that on the camera, I doubt it. I'm gonna lighten up the footage though, to see if... Oh! Okay folks, they're in here. Diggins are around. Dude, that thing was big. I'm not joking. Oh! Okay, folks. They're in here. Diggins are around. He didn't even take a swipe at it. He just kind of looked at it. But as you can see, guys, what I'm doing now, now that I saw a, you know, 8 to 10 pounder almost eat my bait, I'm going to spend a minute here kind of casting in all directions just in case that fish is still around looking for a meal. You never want to find a big fish area and then just leave because you didn't catch it. There's probably more around or that fish is still around. And he has one, look at that. We found a very productive point. I've got like five bites off this point. Oh, good grief. That didn't go where I wanted it to. Dude, dude. Oh man. That really felt like a fish. It really did. I'm just gonna pretend like it is a fish. Be Oh, it is a fish. <laughs> I knew it. Small guy, though. A lot chunkier than I've seen, though. It's funny. See, guys, a little teaching opportunity for you there. If you hook something and you think it's a fish, but then it gets stuck, don't just immediately assume it's a stick and try to start yanking it out like it would be a stick or a rock. Go over there and investigate, and you might catch yourself a bass. All right. Ope. Toad. I wouldn't normally fight fish in this quick, but since they're small, no reason for me to play it risky, or play it safe. Got nothing to lose. So what I would tell this guy who owns this lake in this situation is he needs to take a few out. There are a few too many small fish in here. And if you take a few out and eat them, or throw them away, whatever you want to do with them, whatever floats your boat, this guy's population of fish would be a lot bigger and healthier. All right, so that point's got some fish. Goodness, that fish ate it like it was the only chicken nugget left. Ah, not a big one, not a big one. Little guy. Man, I'm trying to get some big fish for you guys. But they are just not biting for me today. Buzzbait fish are always still fun to catch though. There's a bite. The little guy. Little squirt. Got one. Nope. Well, with that fish, we are going to end out the day. It's getting a little dark here, but look how beautiful it is. Wow. Love Texas sunsets. Cool beans. We'll see you guys back at the dock or the house or whatever I am explaining the day. So that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun for me just to get on the yak and just do some fishing. Even though the fish were not big, besides that one, I'm telling you guys, absolute giant. It, it had to be over eight pounds, possibly over 10, and I'm gonna be out there another day, hopefully trying to catch it. So in case you guys missed it, the, the gear that I was using for this video was the Luz uh, BB1 Speed Spool Pro. It is a sweet, sweet crankbait reel, I love it. And then the Luz Custom Speed Stick 7, no, 69, 69 medium. It is a shallow, I believe it's called the Square Bill, yeah. It's called the Square Bill Crankbait Rod. So it's a pretty good rod, I love it. And uh, just thought I'd show you guys a video of just me catching fish. I know a few of you guys have, ex have complained uh, that I've been doing not too much fish catching recently. And that's because of school, because of Monsters of Minnesota, all sorts of stuff. But stay tuned guys, Monsters of Minnesota episode five is dropping, I believe Tuesday. So in five or six days from now, and uh, it's a good one guys. It has a whole bunch of fish catches, a ton of awesome, awesome content. And from here on out, episodes five through 10 are awesome bass content. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Mm -hmm.